Hey, this is Stefan from ProjectLifeMastery.com. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can overcome depression or any negative emotion for that matter, any negative uh, pattern or indulgence, whether it's binge eating or being lazy or procrastinating or anger, frustration, depression, whatever it might be, by using this simple strategy and technique. Now, I actually learned this from Tony Robbins at his Date with Destiny seminar, and it's a really powerful process that everyone uh, at the seminar does there. And I don't know if there's a specific name for it, but I'm gonna have a blog post that goes along with this video, so make sure you click the link in the description of this video to check out the blog post for more details on actually how to do this. But in this video, I'm gonna first break it down for you and, and just gonna share how the process works, and then I'm gonna show you an example of it, and then I'm gonna give you an action plan that you can use if you wanna be able to apply this to your life to overcome depression or any negative emotion or, or, or pattern or behavior that you're currently uh, suffering from and is holding you back in your life, okay? Now, in order for this to work, in order for this exercise or process to work, you, it requires a lot of energy, okay? And I'm gonna give you a little bit of an example of that, but you have to really be willing to use your body, your voice, uh, your, just your energy, because the more that you're willing to do that, you're, the more you're gonna get out of this exercise, okay? The way that it works is you have to first associate massive amounts and levels of pain, okay, of pain to the negative behavior, so depression. And you have to then associate pleasure to the new behavior of who you really want to be, okay, and you're going to align with your truth of who you really are, all right? And so it's kind of like an incantation or an affirmation, if you would, and I'm going to break it down for you right now. So the way that it starts out is at your house or your apartment, you're gonna say the following phrase, okay? And you're gonna go on a rant while well, you do it, by the way, and I'll give you an example of that. You're gonna say, I, Stefan, okay, you're gonna state your name, I, Stefan, see, know, hear, and feel, okay? I, Stefan, see, hear, know, and feel that I will never again indulge in this stupid destructive emotion of blank, okay, so depression, because the severe consequences are and you're just gonna go on a rant and just list all the consequences of being depressed, okay? All the pain. And the more that you can feel it, the more energy that you can use when you actually say those words, the more powerful it's gonna be, okay? So I would say, I, Steph, and see, know, hear, and feel that I'll never again indulge in this stupid, destructive emotion of depression because the severe consequences are you know, I'm, I'm not gonna be happy. It's affecting my relationships. No one's gonna wanna be with me. Um, you know, I don't feel good about my body. My health is suffering. I'm indulging in, you know, bad foods or drugs or alcohol. Um, it's gonna, you know, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be nowhere. I'm gonna get in debt. I'm gonna lose my family. I'm gonna lose my friends. You just wanna just talk about all the pain, all the consequences of that. The more consequences you can think of and you can feel, the more powerful it will be for you. Because, like I said, you have to really associate pain to that negative, to that old behavior or pattern that you wanna get rid of, okay? If you just intellectually do this, it's not gonna work for you. So the more pain, the more consequences that you can stack and really feel like, what are the consequences of this? How is this destroying my life? And you have to get to the point where you say, never again. You know, you put a line in the sand, you say, this is not who I am, that's not quite what I stand for. To indulge in depression any longer, it's just too painful because you're seeing the future of what your life is gonna be like if you continue living this way, okay? So to recap, I, Stefan, I blank, see, know, hear, and feel that I'll never again indulge in the stupid destructive emotion of blank depression because the severe consequences are blank. And then the next part is you're going to say, that's not who I am. Who I really am is blank. So you're going to say, who I really am is I'm a gift from God. I'm someone that's happy. Who I really am is I'm someone that loves life. I'm someone that was born and made to make a difference, to grow, to, to live my purpose. Who I really am is someone that people love to be around, someone that is confident, someone that enjoys every moment of, of what life has to offer, someone that has something to give, right? And you're just gonna start thinking, who am I really? Because that's, that's the truth of who you really are, what you're really made for, because depression or this negative pattern, that's not who you are. That's just a, a story or a lie that you told yourself that you started to believe and you made that a part of your identity, a part of who you are, but it's not. Who you really are is, who I really am, is what I decide to be right now, right now in this moment, okay? So you're gonna stack together now all the positive 
of who you really are. And you're gonna remind yourself and you're gonna realign with who you really are, okay? So the next piece after that is in order to indulge in this, okay? In order to indulge in depression, I'd have to forget that, okay? And you're gonna now list what you would have to forget in order to indulge in that, okay? So for example, in, in order to indulge in depression, I'd have to forget that I can control how I feel, that I'm in control, I take responsibility for my life. I'd have to forget that I'm a gift from God. I'd have to forget that I can be happy right now in this moment if I decide to. I'd have to forget that people love me. I'd have to forget that I have an amazing future ahead of me. I'd have to forget that life is amazing. Life is, so, is, is worth living. There's so much to look forward to. There's so much amazing moments, amazing things I could be grateful for right now. Okay? So you start to list it, you know, now what you'd have to forget in order to indulge in that. Okay? Now the last piece is you're going to say, all I need to really do and remember and know is blank. Okay, so all I really need to know and remember is that I love life, that I can change myself in an instant, that I can control how I feel. It's not the environment that controls me, it's what I decide to do right now, who I am right now. That I can control how I feel just by smiling, just by changing the way I use my body. That I can make a difference in people's lives, that I have an amazing future if I focus on it. I'd have to forget and I'd just have to remember that I can control what I focus on. Whatever I focus on, I feel. I'd have to, I just have to remember that the past does not equal the future. Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean that it's going to dictate my future. Okay? And you're just going to start to remember and just list what you'd have to remember or know. That I am loved. That people love me. I love myself. My creator loves me. My family loves me. And you're just going to start to list and, and come up with all those reasons as small as it might be. But what you're doing is you're aligning with the truth. You're reminding yourself of the truth. The truth will set you free. Okay? You're not me, this, this depression, this negative behavior, anger, whatever it is, that's not who you are. Okay? That's not what you're created for. All that really is is just a pattern. It's a pattern, it's a habit that you've indulged in. It's a pattern of thinking, a pattern of using your body, a pattern of certain things you say to yourself. And the problem is you just conditioned it so much, you just, it's like working out at the gym, right? You just did it so many times that you started to live that way and believe it, and that became who you were. And if you rem remind yourself of the truth, and you start to condition this every day, okay, which is the last part of this, is to, one is you have to say this again and again and again, okay? And the more energy you can use, the more powerful it's gonna be. The more that you can feel it, the more powerful it's gonna be, okay? So I would you know, prescribe something like doing this five, 10 times a day and do it for the next 30 days. And if you do this, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna go into those negative places anymore because you're gonna have linked so much pain to it and you're gonna have interrupted that pattern of, of that state that it's gonna be really difficult for you to actually be depressed because you're gonna know that, it, one, it's just too painful and the consequences of it, and you're gonna to start to live the way that you're describing and you're encanting just by reminding yourself of what the truth is. And like I said, the truth will set you free. So I'll have a blog uh, post that goes along with this, uh, that goes more into this in detail. But I hope this video can really open up your mind and I really hope that you actually apply this to your life because if you do, your life will change. You know, I was depressed many years ago, but I don't go there anymore because I know the consequences, I know um, how it affected my life, and I started to condition myself every day by going through processes like this, by doing incantations, affirmations, saying out loud who I wanna be, making those little changes, standing up straight, smiling, and just acting and being who I really wanna be because the only thing that matters right now is this moment. The past is gone, it's what you do right now that really matters, and you get to decide who you wanna be right now. If you keep living from the past, and you have the past that's in your future, then you're gonna be repeating the same things. And so it's by making new decisions today that your life can change. So I hope this video really helps you. Check out the blog post at projectlifemastery.com. I'll have a link to it in the description. Thanks for watching.